pig problem, specifically Vietnamese pot belly pigs. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has been rounding them up all over town where the animals have been spotted on city streets. These pigs are often adopted as pets and referred to as teacup pigs when they're small. Then sometimes when they get a lot bigger, they escape. Mm. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live from Mandarin where the last one that we know of was seen. Scott? Tom, there's a swine ordinance in Jacksonville that essentially bans pigs. However, I'm told these little pot-bellied Vietnamese pigs are allowed. One we spotted out here along Old St. Augustine Road in Mandarin, and I'm told animal control does not respond to when these things get loose. It's the sheriff's office who has been getting a lot lately. Hello. This is the latest sighting Hi. we've heard about of a small pig wandering okay. loose on Jacksonville streets. Are you surprised by that? No, I'm not. I see a lot of things around here. Ashley Zecca lives nearby this section of Old St. Augustine Road and wasn't bothered to hear about some swine running loose. You think people would have them as pets or? I would. You would have one I as would. You would? Yeah. Think they're cute? Yeah. She's not alone. Just Google teacup pig. They're not hard to find on sites like Craigslist for sale. And over the past year, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has been tweeting these notices of lost pigs. They're required to do that. They are Vietnamese pot belly pigs, which is by far the most common breed of pigs used for basically for companionship. They're not typically, um, they're, they're livestock, but they're not typically raised for meat. They're just raised for companionship. Dr. Christian Broadhurst is a veterinarian with Clay Humane Society. He says, don't be fooled by the ads of teacup pigs. They grow much larger to more than 100 pounds and escaping can be in their nature. Are you surprised they're escaping? I am not. They're actually, pigs of all kinds are smart, they're mischievous, they're curious, and if there's something they, you know, if there's something they can do to escape or make it through a fence, they will. There's a whole world there for them to explore. He says they're not the most harmful livestock and can be legal in many places. You just need to check your city or homeowners association ordinances. In Jacksonville, you're required to have paperwork and keep them in your home. If they're registered, it's okay. Now, as far as what happens if the sheriff's office picks one up, they put them on social media as a requirement by law. Usually the owner does come and pick them up. But in cases where they don't, the animals have to be euthanized. We are live in Mandarin, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.